Good morning, sir and madam. Welcome aboard the pride of the White Star Line RMS Titanic. May I have your boarding passes, please? Of course. Here you are. Ah, Mr. Ashley, an honor, sir. And madam? Robert, don't you have my boarding pass? No, I gave it to Montague. He was to give it to you. But he didn't. At least, not that I remember. Mr. Ashley, madam, perhaps you could step aside until you find madam's pass. But can't you just let us on? My man may have boarded already. I'm sorry, sir. I'm under strict orders. You'd best start looking for my pass, Robert. Margaret, darling, are you sure Montague didn't give it to you? Perhaps you simply misplaced it somewhere nearby. Be a dear and look around for it while I hold our place, would you? I'm sorry, madam. I cannot let you board without a pass. It simply isn't done. Have you found your pass yet, my dear? I need to get settled and have a bath. Madam, I assure you, my intent was not to harm the boy. Well, we weren't being friendly. I do believe he picked my pocket. I did no such thing. I assure you, madam, he did. Mrs. Ashley? Montague, do you have my boarding pass? Margie? Mother? What on earth are you doing here? I came here looking for you, Margie, to beg you not to go to America. Mother, we've discussed all this. I have a new life now, a husband. Oh, yes. You mean the husband what made you renounce your own blood? How could I forget? I thought I made myself clear to you last month. How can you show up here and embarrass me like this? Embarrass you? I'm trying to save you. Please don't get on this blasted ship. I have a terrible feeling. We'll be back for a few weeks this winter. If you insist, we can discuss this further then. Right now, I have to find my boarding pass. Fine. Ignore your own mother. If I may, madam, I have both of our boarding passes right here. Just a moment. They're gone. It was that boy. That boy stole them. Where did he go? Off towards baggage. I'm sorry, madam. Please don't tell Mr. Ashley. Don't worry about it, Montague. I'll take care of it. Little boy, did you steal some papers from that man over there? What? I never did nothing. What's your name? George. George. That's a pleasant name. I don't want to hurt you, Georgie, I promise. Why don't you just give me the papers back and we'll leave it at that. Get stuck, lady. Wait. Come back. Fiddlesticks. The crane case looks like it's missing a piece. George, get out of that car this instant. No, you can't make me. I only want to speak to you properly. What if I gave you a present? Would you like that? Hmm. Got any cigarette cartons? No, and even if I did, I wouldn't give them to a little boy. I'm convinced they're not good for you. What I want cigarettes for? I want the little cards that come in the packages. I've got almost 50 already. I'm going for a full set. Oh, well, I suppose I could look around for something like that. look like your usual piece of baggage. I hope that's not what I think it is. I believe that crate is full of cigarettes bound for the new world. It looks tightly sealed. That worked like a charm. I'll just grab the cards out of the cartons before anyone notices the mess.
Ten should do the trick. George can't possibly have all of these. Here you are, George. Oh, brilliant! I ain't got none of these yet. Now, can you return what you stole, please? But I already told you! I ain't steal nothing! Old bloke dropped his papers! I was going to pick them up for him, and he rocked me on me head! I didn't even ask for it nor nothing! Okay, well, even if the old bloke dropped the papers, you did still take them, didn't you, George? What I want with a bunch of lousy papers? The other ones what took them! The... other one? The other one there! The lady! I saw her pick up the papers while the old bloke was busy beating on me! It'll be sorry! I think I can have a guess who the Ofa one is. Oh no! The ship's about to leave! I gotta go find my brother! Bye, lady! Give me back my boarding pass, mother. Why, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I know you took it. Give it back and go home. What? Oh. Oh, well, I, I did find a boarding pass, come to think of it. Uh, is it yours? Oh, dear me, I'm so very sorry. There you go. I can't believe you, Mother. Give Montague back his as well. Well, I only found one. If, as you say, there was a second pass, um, it must have blown away. You had better be telling me the truth, Mother. Oh, dear, dear. I'd best call for the ticket office and purchase another pass. And the ship's about to leave port. Such a proper gentleman. When he's not boxing children's ears, that is. Well, I'll be going myself. Must take my medication. So long, Margie. Farewell. Have a good trip. I'll see you come winter. Winter? Yes. <laughs> Ah, thank you, Mother. All appears to be in order, and good thing, too. It would have been a shame to miss out on such an historic voyage. Indeed. Stateroom 4B is just down the starboard hall from the entrance. Stateroom 12B is down the port hall. Pardon me? Is that correct, Robert? We have separate cabins? Well, yes, my dear. I thought it would be more comfortable for you. Of course. <laughs>